Good afternoon and thanks for being here. Let me start by saying today is an important day for the families of Gelleray Bagrazadi and Cody Beavers. And so to the families, let me say that it has taken a long time. But I assure you that we have never forgotten about your loved ones. Our prayers continue to go out to each of you. Gelleray Bagrazadi was a beautiful Iranian-born woman studying molecular genetics when her life was taken in January 2012. Ten months later, her boyfriend's twin brother, Cody Beavers, was murdered in his home. He was just 28 years old. While all of us standing up here today cannot bring these two young people back, our goal to get justice for them will continue. The cooperation between local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies investigating these complicated cases has been and remains remarkable. This has truly been a team effort. With us here today is Perry Turner, Special Agent in Charge of the FBI in Houston. From Dallas, we have Robert Felt, Special Agent in Charge of the Social Security Administration, Office of Inspector General. From Homeland Security Investigations, Assistant Special in Charge, Robert Graham. Harris County Sheriff, Adrian Garcia. And Captain Dwayne Reddy from HPD's Homicide Division. Unable to be here today, but who deserves special mention is Assistant United States Attorney Jim McAllister and Harris County Assistant District Attorney and Chief of our Major Offenders Division, Tammy Thomas, and the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. Earlier today, the four people we believe are responsible for the tragic deaths of Gelleray and Cody were criminally charged in Harris County. A Harris County grand jury indicted Ali Ersan for the capital murder of Gela Ray and Cody. Ersan's wife, Shmu al Rawabda, was indicted for the murder of Gela Ray. Ersan's son, Nassim Ersan, was indicted for the murder of Gela Ray. And Ersan's daughter, Nadia Ersan, has been charged with the felony of stalking of her sister, Nazarene Ersan. These two murders were part of an ongoing conspiracy orchestrated by the defendant, Ali Ersan, to hunt down and cause harm to his daughter, Nezreen, and those close to her, because he believed that she and others, including the two victims, had violated his honor as a Muslim. So he planned and executed the murder of his daughter's husband and his daughter's best friend. Gelleray was a good friend to Nazreen, and she attempted to protect her from her father's wrath. And Cody was Nazreen's beloved husband. <clears throat> and even though this family has been charged here in Harris County, they remain under investigation. There is a possibility that additional charges will be filed. As I mentioned, this has been a total team effort. And at this time, I would like the special agent in charge, Perry Turner, for the FBI to come and say a few words to you. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'd like to thank, thank uh, Devin Anderson for hosting this press conference and also you for your attendance. Two lives were tragically cut short in these cold, calculated killings that shocked our community. First and foremost, our hearts go out to the family and friends of Galloway and Cody. Today is an important day for them and for us. The filing of these charges is yet another step towards justice for Gelleray and Cody. Investigators from six different agencies have been and will continue to work tirelessly together to solve these cases and bring closure to these families. Let these charges be a reminder to other violent offenders that law enforcement in Houston will not give up until justice is served. Rest assured, the FBI will continue to address these types of crimes with the law enforcement partners to ensure every resource is brought to bear to safeguard our communities. Thank you. Thank you. And now Sheriff Garcia. Thank you, uh, Madam DA, and I want to thank you for your leadership. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, when lives are taken from a community or a family, people want justice and they want justice yesterday. But in order for there to be true justice, it does require meticulous work and detail. Uh, we were a part of this process because Cody, one of the victims in this case, 
was murdered in the unincorporated areas of Harris County. Uh, Major Takika and his staff worked diligently on that investigation and in partnership with the district attorney uh, with these other agencies to make sure that we left no stone unturned. But to the community, I say that uh, the proper greeting uh, for the community is salam. But we also say merci for your patience, uh, your cooperation, and for those members of the community who stood steadfast to make sure uh, that these cases were looked at uh, with extreme uh, detail and with a careful investigative eye to make sure that we could get to this particular point. But now uh, we are in the good hands of the district attorney and her staff to make sure that ultimately uh, we now work towards prosecution uh, to provide the families as much justice and closure that can be provided under these circumstances. Thank you. All right, we'll take any questions that you have now. Okay, well, keeping in mind that the investigation is still ongoing, I can give you a general um, kind of feel for what we have discovered. The details of how we are going to prove it, you're going to hear in court. But generally, uh, Nezreen Ursan uh, would not succumb to her father's complete domination and rule of her. And she left his home without his Welcome. Precious. You've got and mail. went into hiding with her boyfriend at the time, who was Cody Beavers. And then they, they married. They got a protective order against Ali Ersan, who continued to try to discover their whereabouts. That's how he engaged um, his, the daughter, who's charged with stalking, helped with trying to locate her sister. And um, threats were made. Um, and we believe now that these two murders are linked by the belief of, on the defendant's part that his honor as a father and as a Muslim had been violated by his daughter who defied his rule and married a Christian man, Cody Beavers. Gela Ray was one of her closest friends and was contacted about where is my daughter and she refused to help him and berated him for even thinking that he should be able to control his daughter. And if you know anything about Gela Ray, that's not Goodbye. a surprise concerning, considering her beliefs as an activist for women's rights. Um, and he became enraged with her. And that is the motive behind these two murders. Was there some thought that Malaysia was, was there a mistaken identity or did he mean to, because the, the, the brothers are twins, did he, did he mean to kill, or allegedly kill? Who, I, I can only answer that by saying that he, he was the husband of, of Nezrin. We'll have to wait. You'll have to see that in court. I'm not Are there others who could be charged in connection with these crimes? There were, the investigation continues and more charges are possible. Are you aware of a 1999 um, killing that happened in the home of Mr. Ursan? And does that play a role in the investigation or could you be charged in that? My understanding is that's under investigation currently in Montgomery County. And that's not true. I think during the course of our investigation, uh, we, we first got involved, the FBI did, um, after the, the murder of, of Galloway, and then after the murder of Cody, we got further involved. And so we formed a, a task force, which is a, a joint effort of everybody uh, behind us. You know, we all have finite resources. The FBI does get involved when people ask us to, to, to help out. And so during the course of the investigation, we, un we uncovered information came available that there was some type of white collar crime 
um, activity being perpetrated, and that was uh, social security uh, fraud, and those so some significant, serious white collar crime type violations, and we take those type crimes seriously, and it's really up to the the federal courts uh, as far as detention, the detention type hearings, and, and we we have no no say in that. It's up to the uh, the federal the federal courts. What's the custody Um, I believe three of them are in federal custody awaiting sentencing on these federal charges we just discussed. And the son, Nassim Ursan, has been arrested within the last couple of hours and is on his way to Harris County, where he will be arraigned later this week in a district court. I believe it's the 184th District Court, Judge Crocker. And where was he arrested at? He was in Montgomery County. Oklahoma? Mm -hmm. We went and got him this morning after the indictments and after the warrant was in TCIC. Well, this has been a continual investigation since these murders happened. Um, and as evidence becomes available, we do what's best for the case. And at the time, the dismissal was what was best for the victims and for the case. And obviously, our continued investigation unearthed enough evidence to be able to charge this defendant with capital murder instead of the murder that he was originally charged with. Right. I'm Edison Tokik, and I'm the major over the Criminal Investigations Bureau. To answer your question, no, ma'am, we didn't play a, a part at all. We, we stayed focused on what we had to do and, uh, you know, arrested them when the time was proper. My understanding is that they are due to be sentenced um, this summer, and we should be getting them here in Harris County Jail around July. Sentence, should they be found guilty? Or I, I believe they've been, con I it's believe they've pled, pled guilty. guilty. Yeah, and they're set for sentencing. And I'm talking about Shmu, Nadia, and Ali Arsan. Right. So they, they are guilty to the charges of the homicide? No, in federal, in the federal charges. For, for the, and they're waiting for sentencing, for right. For Mm -hmm. For the money, right, the fraud. Uh, not much at this time. Does anybody feel? We can get the ages for you. I don't have them here with me, but I know they're from Jordan. That's. Has Cadell or Sean or any of the family members, have they said anything to you? I mean, you're, you're, you're talking with them. Or I'm, I'm not able to discuss that at this time. I think it's a combination of both, a defiance of the control that he wanted to exercise over all of his children and what he considered an, un, an insult to his Muslim beliefs. Uh, his attorney has said that, you know, he's worked with his client for a long time and, and has uh, full belief, of course, that his client did not commit this crime and is not guilty for what is charged. Um, I know you probably don't want to go into everything you guys have uh, to be able to because I've seen the evidence. <laughs> I've seen all the evidence, and he's paid to say what he just said. Um, we believe we have a very strong case against Mr. Ersan and all of these defendants, and with the arraignment of Nassim Ersan this Thursday or Friday, you'll hear a lot more of the details of this case when it's presented to the judge. And do you, is, do you feel like the father in this case coerced or led his other family members, or did they do so follow suit willingly? Well, we've charged them with intentionally and knowingly committing the crimes that who, they're who accused of. Who was there the day that uh, the young woman was killed? That's, I'm going to have to wait for the hearing later this week. Was her DNA a child? We believe so. What is the status of Mr. Ersan's nephew that came to the complaint that tried to get him deported? I'm unable to comment on that at this time. Any other questions? Oh, can I do one? Just a second. I think it's a family member. 
Yeah, the it's spelling. It's Tokika, T O Q U I C A. Edison, E D I S O N. Thank you. Was and, and is. <laughs> yes. Do we get a report? Uh, not publicly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lucy. Do you consider this to be anything else that you guys prosecuted in Montgomery County or Harris County? No. This is this is a one of the con this is a one of the con I've no. I've never seen anything like this with the family involvement. Uh, the links that were gone to to commit these murders, the premeditation, the efforts are unprecedented. And if the, if the father and mother, they have three. And how many people in all were arrested? Four. Well, four were charged. One was arrested, three are in custody. Anybody else? Lynn, they're, they're all in your guys' custody? Yes. And the wife charge is his current wife? Yes. That's right. Right. Sure. Let me get him in front of me so I say it right. Ali Ersan is charged with capital murder. The wife, her name is Shmu, and Jeff McShann's going to spell all this for you. Ersan's uh, wife, uh, her name is Shmu Al Rubwada, and she's charged with murder. Ersan's son, sorry. Gellaray, yeah, uh huh. And Ersan's son, Nassim Ersan, is charged with the murder of Gellaray. <coughs> and the daughter, Nadia, is charged with the stalking of her sister, Nezreen, the felony stalking. Those are the four charges that were handed down today. And Nassim is the one that was arrested today. Yes, sir, in Montgomery County. Can you help Nezreen, I will not say where she is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's tough. It's not as tough as it is. But I mean, hey, nothing. Okay. All right, I appreciate All right. it. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks y'all. Thank you, everyone. Uh, sure. I think uh, customers might want to talk to his family. Uh, anyone else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Estaba grabando los nombres. Alrighty. Estamos aquí hoy para anunciar con este la procuradora del condado Harris, este que estamos este llevando cargos a cabo este para este la el señor Ali Hersan y uh, también por la 
la esposa este, eh, por los uh, cargos de muerte eh, de la ofensa capital y homicidio. Ese es un caso que ha este, ocurrido y o, o tiene años de, de este, estar trabajando. Es un caso que trabajando junto con las agencias federales, locales, con la policía de Houston, el departamento de Aguasil, son casos que hemos manejado con mucho cuidado desde el tiempo que ocurrió este, uh, uno de los homicidios y después que llegamos a encontrar que otro caso que cayó bajo la jurisdicción de mi departamento. Y últimamente también este, hay casos que están pendientes en el condado de Montgomery. Entonces, esto es un caso que llegó a llevar mucha atención internacional, igual que local, uh, porque hubo muy, mucha información de por qué sucedió esos homicidios, por qué este, la víctima, uh, Yellow Rain, fue asesinada. Pero ya después de uh, terminar con este aspecto de la investigación, listos este, ya para enjuiciar las personas responsables, uh, pensamos que parte del motivo es porque el padre de una de las víctimas este, uh, fue precisamente porque como...